Hey guys, so this is my fifth vlog for today, um, and I'm going to title it Fangirl Beetle, no, Beetle, Typical Fangirl Life, or Typical Day of the Fangirl, because I did some fangirling things. So, let's go on with the usual schedule of what these vlogs are. First is the outfit of the day. Now, I just had for my hair the typical neat bun. I washed it today. You can't really tell whether I washed or not. But um, I was doing other things because I don't have a lot of homework today. So um, it's like 5.51, which is not when I usually do my homework. So that's why I, I already did stuff with my hair and pushed it back with my glasses. But for the outfit, I have on this coral peplum top. Like I said, I had the two of them. This is the coral one, an undershirt, my floral belt, and J.C. Penny jeans. So that's that. And then I got Converse high top. So that's my outfit for today. I got this typical makeup. Um, considering I don't have a lot to work today, I'll show you my routine for that. But let's get on with the blog. So. Let's just start the day. Um, I think my body is adjusting to the natural clock of school because I fell asleep early. Um, you know, obviously I said time to go to bed at like 9.30. And I fell asleep I think around 9.40, which is good. Um, and then I ended up waking up at 5.27, which is just three minutes before my alarm. So obviously my body's already like, time to get up. This is when that alarm comes off and when you normally get up. So that's awesome because I don't have to worry so much about waking up late because my body doesn't really care anymore. So I woke up at that time, um, took a shower, washed my hair today, um, put on my clothes, I ate a waffle and half of an apple cut in slices. It was very good. I went to school, um, Spanish class, our teacher was here today. Um, and that class is really boring and really easy. First, she, she, she said, okay, so now you're going to get out a piece of paper. Um, I'm just, I mean, that's her accent, you know. And then you're going to write, uh, whatever word they say in Spanish, what you think it means in English. And then we will get the answers and you're done. And then I, f I thought she said, write down the word in Spanish, what you think it's spelled. So I wrote down, I knew all the words. Cliente is client. Suplimento is supplement. Um, elegante is elegant. Turista is tourist. Tourist. I, I, let me get all the words, okay? I wrote them in Spanish. And then I crossed that out because all of a sudden the students were like, uh, I think it meant client, and then they had all everything written in English. And I thought she was just being extra hard. And that's why people were complaining. No, it was to figure out what the word was, was called. So I have it right here. Cliente, client, equivalente, equivalente. I think that's what it says. Equivalent, suficiente, sufficient, importante, important, patriotico, patriotic. I think this is what I cross them all out. See, go, go. Oh, romántica, romántico, romantic. Patente was patent. Elegante was elegant. Monumento was monument. Argumento was argument. Acti, ac, artista was artist. Turista, tourist. Suplemento. Supplement, Atlantica, Atlantic, and Competente, Competent. I knew all of those words, and I actually spelled them in Spanish. And then she's like, no, you were supposed to write it in English what you thought it mean. I could have not had to cross out all of these beautifulness. And then I could have just, it would have been so much easier. This class is too easy. If that was the assignment, I would have been... I don't know. I, this class is so easy. I have to take Spanish for four years, so when I'm my senior year, I'll be in Spanish four. So obviously, I didn't have homework for that class. 
there wasn't any homework for anybody. Um, today's August 29th, so it's Thursday. Uh, let's see, Spanish none. Okay, now after Spanish, I went um, to choir class. And there, I sat down and hanged out with my friends. And then, I really hate that class because the teacher is just really reminds me of a pedophile. Uh, he, he was doing weird things. I don't know, like, I heard him say something about auditions, but I thought he meant, he said, anybody who isn't a ninth grader. And then I saw a lot of people walking. And I hope that he didn't mean, like, everybody. Because, I mean, I don't even think I have to audition. I really think that he doesn't even know who auditioned and who didn't. So how is he going to know that I didn't go attend choir in another place? Was he going to check? Anyways, I still have to do it. Um, uh, he divided the groups into alto soprano twos and soprano ones, and I'm a soprano two, so me and my friends get to all be in the same group because I heard alto sing the lowest, and that was way too low for me. So I'm I'm a soprano two. Um, which is comfortable range, and pretty much anybody can be a soprano two. So. Um, that was choir, and finally I have the money to get the fees paid, so I'm going to pay the $40 and stay in the class because it's pretty much going to be easy. The only problem is the audition. Once that's over with, easy class, really easy. I, I pretty much get to just lip sync. Um, so that was choir, and then I went to personal fitness, which is boring, boring class. Um, although I got a Beatles book. Now... I'm a, I don't know if you know this or not, but I am really, like, I, I mean, think of a One Direction fan on crack. Cocaine, LSD, high, 12 years old, and hormonally insane. That's how crazy I am for the Beatles. Stop laughing. The Beatles is, 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 no, you, you don't understand. The Beatles... First of all, it's way better than One Direction. Don't even talk about One Direction because it sounds like One Erection. Stop. They're they're amazing. Okay. So obviously, I'm a Beatle maniac. If you look that up on Twitter, I'm part of that fan base, and I have a uh, lots of Beatles books, <clears throat> and this is one of them. Death of a Dreamer, John Lennon. I'm I'm halfway there through reading this, and Yoko's kind of crazy. See. I'm, I'm in the part about um, Mark, who killed him. So, I read this um, throughout the class period, and I really love my high school because of the, the multitude of interesting books they have. I also have, from the library that I'll show you later, because I have it later in the day, another book. So, after personal fitness was over, um, I went to math class. And in math class, I got to sit next to Emily. We took a quiz, which was really easy. Um, although Emily told me that it was, it was like confusing, but I don't know if I got, I hope I got 100. Um, also, she unfortunately forgot to do her video notes um, last night. And I, I thought I would have forgotten too if I didn't see it on the board. I thought she wrote it down on her planner. But um, because I did that, I got an extra 10 points in the quiz for whatever grade I got. So I could get... A hundred if I missed, if I missed, like, something. And I could have gotten, like, 110 if I got them all right. So that's great. So for social studies, which, oh, no, no. Um, for lunch, it turns out I had $18 in my card, which is really cool. Um, so, because I insisted that I bought food, um, and I didn't know I had any money in it, so I was like, how much money do I have? And they told me I had $18, so I was like, I'll have a pizza and a smoothie from the a la carte menu, because that's like the only good one. A la carte! Unless it's Italian, I don't know. Um, so I got my food, and I ate lunch like a boss. And that's, that was really cool, to eat lunch, you know? It was yummy. I love the smoothies. Smoothies. I'm, tomorrow I'm just going to have a smoothie. They're so good. So for social studies, um, I turned in both of my maps, and hopefully Emily 
did her math because it was due today if she had Miss Tice. Because I forgot her math. Okay, what is up with the Neeks right now? I'm like the only one on top of this stuff. Because I forgot her map by accident, which I think will never happen again. And then Emily forgot to do the notes, and then she also um, said thought the map was due on Tuesday. But if you have Miss Mrs. White, it's due on Tuesday. So I don't know what... I, she told me she has Mrs. Tice, so I was like, oh, that's due on Thursday, which is today. So I turned that in. Um, after social studies... I went to science class and there um, we took a quiz about uh, lab safety which was pretty easy. There were some questions where I was like, hmm, but I think I got at least an A, which is what I need to get. Um, and homework for that class is get supplies. So for social studies science, it's get supplies. And I can't get those supplies till tomorrow or Saturday, so... English um, was kind of really boring. We we half the class period she talked about this I remember poem. Then my English teacher read an I remember poem, and it was really weird, which is convincing me that she's high all the time. And then she said something like um, like something about archetypes, and then she played this boring presentation slide with voice about archetypes and I didn't pay attention I was doodling so um that was that uh homework get supplies uh, it's not required yet so I think I'll be fine by Tuesday to be fine um extra oh okay so after English I went to the library and met with Emily and um we got some new books so these are my my books that I'll be reading very quickly. I'll just show you all of them, even the ones I already showed you. So, I got this book, which is The Assassination about John Lennon. Almost done. Then, since I'm obsessed with technology and the Beatles and everything, I'm also obsessed with Google, Android, and business people, especially about technology. So I found this book about the founders of Google. Google founders Larry Page and Ser Sergey Brin. And the bio says, or the, the thing he says, computers were Larry Page and Sergey Brin's childhood toys. At a young age, Brin could solve complex mathematical equations. And Page could build working printers out of Legos. Not me. Both from brilliant academic families, they grew to love learning logic and technology. Although from different countries, Page and Brin met at Stanford University. In a rundown garage in Palo Alto, California, they founded Google, an internet company that changed the world. Today, Google places information, news, maps, images, and videos, blogs, email, and more at the fingertips of millions of people. With the creation of Google, Page and Brin became the world's youngest self-made billionaires. Despite their fame and wealth, they continue to develop innovative services and aim to live up to Google's Don't Be Evil motto. Using creative, cutting-edge technology, Page and Brin are helping to find solutions to environmental, educational, and health issues affecting people around the world. Carolee Sapit is the author of a number of books for Morgan Reynolds, including Jimmy Choo, Cleopatra Elizabeth I, Eleonora of Aquitaine, Aqu Aqu Aquitaine Michael Phelps, and Zora Hale Neal, Hertzson, as well as four titles and political profile series. So this was interesting because I love Google. And look at the beginning page. That is cool. And I heard they have a really awesome workspace. So I'll be reading this Google book. And here is a Kazooka book. That's what I call it. Ah, an entire book about John Lennon. John Lennon, all I want is the truth. And it is not just a biography. It is a photographic biography. Yay! So I'll be reading all of this. Wow. Woo. Look at that entire picture. Look, I see Ringo on the back. <laughs> There's just a picture of Paul 
in the beard phase. See him? That's Paul McCartney in the beard phase. There's Ringo with a sideburn phase and long hair. There's John, mustache phase. George, mustache phase. They all decided to grow facial hair at one time. Here is his wife, Yoko. I hate her. Hey, look at her hair. Damn it, John. Then there was the news report. Aw, about Paul's quitting the Beatles. Making it sound as if Paul is bad. Paul ain't bad. Anyways, I'm gonna be reading this book. So that is that. So, um, my school has uh, ID cards that we need to use for the library, for lunch, and for all sorts of things. So I decided to get a lanyard because, um, you know, I, I didn't want to lose it. I was pretty much throwing it in my, my purse. And eventually it probably would have slipped out and I would have lost it. And that wouldn't be fun. So I've decided to go online and find some lanyards. So I found the Beatles lanyard. And since this blog is all about Beatles, that's why I'm going to call it Beatlemania Fangirl or something. Something about that. Um... I found one that has the beetles on it and it's made of good material and it has a buckle and then it has the thing. It's like, you know what a lanyard is, you put keys on it. Well, I'm going to put my ID on it. Um, and then I decided to be creative to put pins on it of things I like. So obviously I went online and I found a bunch of beetles pins. I found a pack of seven of them. They have excellent pictures and seven is a lot so I'm going to give some to my friend, maybe like three of them and then I'm going to put like, I'll give her the name the photograph one and yeah I don't know I'm going to think about it because I want to kind of put them and cluster them in my backpack a little bit to make it look cool and then put them put I'm going to put like two of them on my lanyard and then some on my bag on my purse thing that goes like that you put stuff right there and then I have uh, and then I bought an asexual badge and it has the flag colors now if you don't know what asexuality is go to asexuality.org and it'll explain everything so I'm gonna put that on my lanyard so that I can show off my pride and that's that's it so today I'm gonna do my homework um, and then record a makeup routine videos it is 608 so I'm gonna get some ice cream downstairs because ice cream is cool and that's what I'm going to do. So this is my vlog for today. 20 minutes or 18 minutes long. Ah, whatever. Who watches this? See you later.